This is my Tandy uh, 1000TX I was playing around yesterday, last night before I went to bed. So this monitor I already had a CM5. However, my other monitor just came in. Well, it came in last night, but I'm just looking at it now. That's the one that came with this. No, actually, was, I bought them separate, but it's the same seller. He was really, really good helping me out. All right, so now we got it. This box just came in. Well, it came in last night, like I said, but I just got to it today. I'm thinking about it all night. So he he's this seller was really, really good to me. He helped me get both of these parts, things to me, uh, really fast and very professionally packed. awesome so this one is a cm 11 which is more of a high it's supposed to be the higher graphics on the monitor compared to the cm5 in the other room so we'll see what we get christmas every day i'm just trying to learn about this shit i'm gonna make a little source Actually, I'll sell a lot of this stuff local. I would never ship any of this. It scares me. I'm thinking about trying to ship some of this stuff. Alright, so this one is C11. Let's see. Plug should be the same, I would assume. Let's see. So, we'll switch the other one out. Got more of a black, so yeah, so it's a CM11. Pretty cool, huh? So excited everything makes it safe. I had one thing that didn't power supply that broke on me during the chipping. But well, uh, finally resolved that with the seller, so that's cool. But this one worked out fine. Got a little board. I can use a board. So I can always use packing stuff, so. To me, when I see a box, I see all this, I'm like, oh great, now I got more packing. thought of selling that, just shipping that is scary. All right, so let's see if we can swap this. Hold on. We'll get this going. We'll swap. Hold on. All right, so I'm going to swap this one out. And then, and this one's CM5, so they can see the difference there between the two. Uh, let me, it's kind of hard to do it. Like this thing going on. I'm going to have to turn this. All right, let's. Hold this off for a second and then we'll come back. Alright, so we'll take this one off. We already know this works, so that's pretty cool. So we'll get this monitor out of here. Yeah, the monitor is the hardest thing with these things. Everything has its own monitor, so that makes things. And there's not. There's no all knowing. Adapter that you can switch things out. You have to find different kinds. It's a real pain in the buttons. And buying monitors is not cheap at all. It's more expensive than this, really, pretty much. All right, so let's pull this one off. Hold on a second. All right, let's go get my other monitor, which is over here. So you can see the difference. This one's black on the around, and I believe if you look at the back of this, it says high definition or trying to find one. I finally got one. High resolution RGB as compared to the other one. It's just regular resolution. So it makes a difference somehow. I'm not sure how. Well, let's see if we get this one into there. This one's a little bit lighter too. A little bit lighter. Not a lot, but a little bit. Actually, it's a lot lighter actually. Cable's a different color. It's black. Just trying to see the difference. Trying to find one of these forever. I almost got a second one, but then I missed it. But I really don't need two. One's fine. So, monitor. Oops. It doesn't have a little. Oh, it does. it does. So, this was a, a complete set, but the, the buyer was actually the seller was smart. He sold us 
them separate. So it's better to sell them separate. It's so expensive to try to get the whole. If you look these, the TX as a set on eBay is pretty expensive. This wasn't much cheaper getting it separate, but the, the seller really helped me out. So it goes down as my best seller of the year by far. Hooking me up here. This here kind of stuff is really expensive. Alright, so we'll just get that up there. I'm not really gonna turn this one back around again, just enough to get to there. We're good. So let's see. Hopefully we're good to go. Oh I unplugged the other one. this in we'll see what we got yeah I've been really into the vintage computing so this is fun so you're gonna see the graphics look I can say by this looks a little bit more clear so it made it safe yay Yeah, the definite improvement in graphics. So I have two of the CM5s. At some point, I'll sell one of them local. I just got to get used to the fact that you have to have a disc in most of these to, to get it started. Although it has a hard drive, and I haven't figured out why I can't use the hard drive as setup. Well, we're going to figure that out next. This this time though, huh? Very entertaining. This actually started in the hard drive. It wasn't doing that before. Wonder why it is now. That's interesting. When it, when I first started this the first time, it didn't boot to MS DOS. Maybe because I changed the monitor. But now it did. Cause look, I'm at C. That's what I thought it should have done. But then I was like, well, no, it doesn't. Because I kept having to use this. If you look at the video yesterday, I have, kept having to use this because I couldn't get it to load into. I wonder why. That's what I wanted it to do. That's what I thought it should have done. And this DOS, we're in here. Awesome. So that just. Oh, cool. So there we go. So now we'll set up some more. So I got some Tandy 1000s too. I was playing around with them. But I actually have some... Um, the, the two of the Tandy 1000s I got, the original ones, had fun cards in them. So I bought them. One of them has a, another uh, hard disk drive card. An external one. To play around with. So this worked perfect. This is what I wanted. It to start MS-DOS on the hard drive. Like it thought it would have. So I'm going to try to get 3.1 on this. I'm going to add some more stuff. I want to go inside of it to take a look at the hard drive. Because I have a couple of big giant ones around here somewhere. I want to see if they're kind of like this. Look at this. this. These two, when I first started playing around, look around for these things. Look at the size of this thing. It's a monster. This came out of a Tandy 1200 HD. I don't think I can use that in here. But maybe I can test it. I'm hoping. I got two of these actually. Actually, no, I got three. One's in the Tandy. These two I bought to test them. So that's what a hard drive looks like. This one is not Seagate. The one in there is a Seagate. This one's only 10 megs. That's 20. So lots of fun stuff I learned already today. Oh, I'm so excited now that it works in there. Cool. 